Welcome to ExcelWorks video tutorials. The title of this presentation is how to find best fitting curve in Excel and Google Sheets with the function NLSolve. NLSolve, based on Levenberg Markard, is a versatile solver in Excel for solving a variety of problems. In a previous tutorial, we have shown how to use NLSolve to solve a system of equations and a parameterized calculus problem. In this presentation, we will show you how to use NLSolve for solving least squares error curve fitting problems or nonlinear regression. Let me begin by introducing the function NLSolve. NLSolve takes two parameters. Parameter number one is a reference to the equation's formula. Parameter number two is a reference to the equation's variables. It also takes two additional optional parameters for controlling the underlying algorithm or specifying the number of inequality if you have so in the system. NLSolve is not a standard function in Excel or Google Sheets. To enable it in Excel, you will have to install Excel App 7. If you are on Windows, you can get it from excel-works.com. If you are on an Apple Mac, you can install it directly from Microsoft App Source. From your Excel ribbon, click Insert, Get Add-ins, find the add-in and add it. If you're working with Google Sheets, install it directly from the Google Marketplace. To demonstrate using NLSolve for finding best fitting curve, we will work with an XY data set, which is plotted in the shown figure. Our goal is to fit the data to a fourth order polynomial model, as shown here. We will use NLSolve to find the coefficients A1 to A5, for best least square fit with the data. Let me begin first by describing the fitting procedure. Using autofill in Excel or Google Sheets, we will first generate a first column in which we will sample our model PX at the data X points. In the second column, we will compute the square errors between our sampled data for PX and the actual Y data. Then, we will use NLSolve to solve for our coefficients by simply passing our error formulas and the unknown coefficients. I'll demonstrate this procedure in Excel, although the, using the procedure in Google Sheet is virtually the same. I've started Excel and copied my XY data to save some time. Let me begin first by plotting the data. It's 27 data points and I'm going to insert a scattered graph. Our goal is to fit this data with a fourth order polynomial. The first step is to evaluate this polynomial at the x points of our data set. In order to do this, I'll first need to select some variables to represent my coefficients. It's convenient to work with a1 to a5 in this case. So I'm going to assign some initial values for these coefficients which can be zero as well. Next, I'm going to evaluate this polynomial at the x values by defining the formula using my variable coefficients. The first will be, it will be a1 times x in this case is c2 to the power 4 plus a2 times c2 to the power 3, and so forth. Now before I use autofill to generate the rest of the values, I must lock my coefficients because I want Excel to vary only or to increment only the variable x, which is in this case c2. If I try to use autofill in the way this formula is written, it will, Excel will increment all variables in this formula, including my coefficients. So the way to lock them is by the dollar sign. So I locked all my coefficients A1 to A5. Now I can use autofill to evaluate my fourth order polynomial uh, the remaining values for my data x values. We can now add our sampled polynomial to the chart. I 
I can now change the chart type to use a connected line instead. Now we are going to calculate the square errors between our polynomial co values and the actual y values. And that's simply done by taking the difference between my polynomial value minus my actual y value squared. Using autofill, I can generate the remaining errors. I'm ready now to evaluate my NL solve formula to solve for my coefficients. My first parameter is my error formulas that I've just calculated. And my second parameter is my unknown coefficients a1 to a5. I'm working in Excel Lab 365, so I can take advantage of the spell feature by simply pressing enter, and NL solve will calculate and spell into neighboring cells. NL solve computed the following coefficients for me in 16 iterations. So now, if I take my computed coefficients and copy them over my guess values, then we can see the difference immediately. Now we've obtained the best least square error square fit for our data. I've demonstrated the procedure in Excel Lab 365 with the spell feature, but if you are running Excel Lab 7 on Windows, the spell feature is unfortunately unavailable, so we'll have to run NL solve as a, an array formula in a pre-allocated output array. Let me show you the, how to do this back in Excel and I'm going to evaluate my NL solve formula as an array formula as you would do in Excel Lab 7 on Windows. Let me first copy my formula. So the way you would do this is by allocating the array up front, then click in the formula bar, type or copy your formula. And now instead of pressing enter, you want to press Control shift enter at the same time. Excel calculates the same solution and it places curly brackets around your formula to indicate that this value is an array formula. Now, the procedures we have just illustrated using a fourth order polynomial can be generalized to any model you choose with unknown coefficients. We have demonstrated the use of NL solve to find the best fitting curve in Excel or Google Sheets. NL solve is part of the Excel lab calculus functions add-in which include a dozen additional functions for performing integration, differentiation, interpolation, solving equations, and optimization. If you are interested in any of these problems, check excel-works.com for examples. Thank you.